Ryan with Goodman Racing. In this box we have the new Edelbrock intercooled supercharger kit for the Mazda ND Generation Miata. We've been waiting for this a long time. I know there's a lot of enthusiasts out there who've been pining away to see what's in the box. Today, we're gonna give you some idea of what's in the box. First, I've already been in here to open this up to make it a little easier to do it quick. First box that you pull out, all your preformed hoses. Now, with most kits on the market, what you'd actually have right here is a giant coiled up single piece of hose and you'd be cutting it to fit and nothing would be pre-bent. But with this kit, you'll notice you get a pre-bent hose. The result is when you're done, you get a really factory looking install. Also in here, your K&N filter, your supercharger belt, part of your wiring harness edition. Now let's go deeper and see what we find. Complete installation guide. Give you a little idea here of what you get. Step-by-step -step instructions, pictures for every step, a very complete installation guide to make the installer's life easy. I still recommend you have a professional do the install because a lot of the bolts are a real challenge to reach. Even though the supercharger is mounted high up, there are connections down underneath that are very tight to get to. We recommend a professional install, but your mechanic will certainly appreciate that you've got a complete set of instructions, detailed, step-by-step, -step, with a picture for every step. Let's go deeper. Now the piece de resistance. The blower. TVS 900. I've already driven the setup. Compared to what we had on the previous generation, this TVS 900 is amazingly smooth and quiet. When we start up my NC generation kit, which uses the old MP62 blower, you know it's on there from the moment you turn the key. You can hear it at idle. There's a mechanical urgency and extra excitement that's frankly not for everyone. This kit, in contrast, super smooth, super quiet. If you stay with the stock intake and a stock exhaust, you'll hardly know it's there, at least until you push the gas pedal a little bit more and it engages and really gives you the extra power. There's the blower, nicely integrated one piece right there. The pump, frankly a much better pump than we had on the NC kits. Which on the NC kits, it was a standard Bosch pump. Uh, this is a higher flowing, more efficient pump. Nice addition. Fluid reservoir, one big difference. For those of you who had the, our NC kit, it had a bigger reservoir with the connections at an angle so that you knew it was working when it swirled. The problem with that is that also put a lot of air in the system, particularly if you let the fluid level get a little low, then it churned a lot of air into the system. This is straight in, straight out. As a consequence, it's not going to swirl like the NC system did. You've got to get the fluid level pretty low to see it moving, but you can see it moving if you let the fluid level get low. Uh, it is lighter, smaller, more compact than the NC reservoir. Big heat exchanger is in here for the front of the car. Another item is upgraded nicely from the NC kit. The NC kit was very thin. Those of you who had the NC kit will remember. It was thin, it tended to warp a little. This is a much thicker, higher capacity, higher efficiency unit. is your intercooler core. Now on the NC setup, you had one giant piece to put on the car that included the core and the blower. Uh, here, they made the install a lot easier in the very tight space by having it two separate pieces. 
And if I get it close to the camera and take the plastic off, you'll be able to see the intercooler core inside. And there's the engine mating side of it. So basically the supercharger blows into here. This absorbs the heat. Supercharger is basically shooting straight through the core into your cylinders. And the result is the most direct, the most instantaneous power delivery that you're gonna get with a boosted system. They could have gone with an air air and put a big air to air intercooler up front, but then you've got all that additional throttle volume. The air's gotta travel all that additional distance. With this setup, instant throttle response that feels like a factory install, not like something that was bolted on aftermarket. In here, all your bracketry. Everything is custom made for this application. So what you get is not some uh, crudely bent metal uh, steel uh, bracket. You get nice custom formed aluminum bracketry made just for this application. Then all the hardware, hose clamps, and more similar custom form bracketry. And that concludes our quick walk through what's in the box. And then we'll swing the camera around and show you the install result on our 2017 RS.